Yeah, it's your boy Fist in the his house. Bringing another great edition of Black Ops 2 for me to you because that's what I do. And I think the last time we covered the M8, and now I'm going to show you this is the actual video from Advanced Tactics on uh, Detour. Now, this the, the Advanced Tactics, Tactics work for all the maps. I mean, there's no algorithm stuff that uh, David Von Harv, you know, there's. The algorithms and stuff, that's why they can't spawn. No. It, it's it's really simple. Wherever the enemy spawn is at, and you cross the center line, uh, they're going to spawn to the right of the enemy original spawn. Until you flip, and then it goes to the opposite right side. It's never the opposite side unless you're um, vertically, vertically left. I would say like a left quadrant. There's like, there's two quadrants on the bottom of the spawn. So if you're in the left quadrant of the of the enemy spawn, then you might spawn diagonally on the other side. That that is the only time. It's a rare occasion because most of the times you're gonna you're gonna have people crossing the line. The the line that I'm talking about is horizontally in the middle of the map. I know I took a long time to get to that point, but I wanted to illustrate that and talk about it more than once. And some people are like, we just go to 16.01 and then get to the point. Blah blah blah. And sometimes the reason why I do that and I carry on and ramble because a lot of people, you have to spoon feed them on YouTube. So you just can't go to the point or else you're going to get tons. You'll get more comments as to what are you talking about? I don't get it. Versus uh, maybe one or two people saying go to this point and this is what he's talking about. So this is the exact video of, you know, get turned on. This is the video from that uh, Advanced Tactics. As you can see, I like this spot right here. I should have stayed down. This this is kind of weird because not only can you glitch on this corner piece, but you could like crawl out and see feet as to where they're not going to look straight down. They're going to be looking down the hallway. And that, that whole alley is dangerous. So, uh, yeah, I would definitely use EMPs in this game because we all know EMPs are like the best overpowered secondary whatever you I think it's even better than smoke to be honest with you um, but going on to this map detour uh, like I said in my very first videos I, I haven't played since the day this came out I probably you know a lot of family going out and all that stuff and so I've been had a great 4th of July uh, 4th of July had barbecue ribs brisket you know, gar garlic mac and cheese. I don't know, I have different kind of mac and cheese, wow. potato mashed potatoes. I'm stuffed right now, so I don't really know if I want to play. But you know, the point being is that uh, us, us ARs. You know, the funny thing is, is, there's nine ARs in the in the game, right? And what happens? They focus mostly on weapons that are only four weapons instead of nine or seven. The assault and the SMGs. And you know, what can you do? That's just the way it is, and they're not going to change that. And it's just surprising to me. Like, you say you're going to change the game, and you got the black box, but you don't do it. I don't... It's it's, it's kind of like they, they regressed and went back to the old part where they said, okay, we're, you know, we're going to change stuff, but they never do. And they, it's back to where it was. It always is. It's never... Nothing's changed. Once they make a decision on something in the game, that's, that is what it is. It's, it's not going to change. But on this specific map... I highly suggest using the, AR, the ARs because you have long lines of sight. And maybe you can get away with LMGs, but I just think that the map is too skinny and not wide enough for... The, what I mean by uh, too skinny, I, I mean the spaces, the space between the spawn middle and the other spawn middle is cut in half. Where what they did was, is usually the middle would be wide open so you'd have long you know you would go straight to B flag you'd have these long lines of sight to B so you could set up with the LMG so they took that away by adding these buildings so it's kinda like a horse if you stick blinders on them you're not gonna be able to see the left or the right of you and it's a very short distance which is a disadvantage for an LMG player so it's it's hard you just can't come straight down the middle and set up on B whereas in most of the other maps when this game first came out uh, they changed that so you can see 
how they are changed. See, like this piece right here? Usually this piece wouldn't be there. It would go straight down and there would nothing be there. And there would be a lot of space and a lot of head glitching areas to be. If you look at all their maps, you can see the progression in Treyarch and how they uh, change uh, Flag B or the centerpiece in the game to make it harder to sit on and control. So I think that's a good thing. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. If you have a chance, come on over to Fist 2. Remember, you know, be a little bit more or less PC over there. Until next time, it's your boy Fist. Peace. I'm out. Beast.